Hello, this is a three-part series on taking your Navionics topography maps, overlaying it with Google Earth, converting it into a format that can be imported into your fish finder, and then going to your fish finder and importing that data and taking a look at what you can do with it. So this is, uh, I'm at uh, Walter E. Long Lake. Uh, in near Austin. Uh, the locals call this Decker Lake because it's near Decker Lane, I think. Um, so in Texas, the wind is blowing out of the south predominantly. So let's say I wanted to go into this northwest corner here and do some top water uh, where the protected areas is, a big flat area here. I want to be able to drop in waypoints and do some paths and mark anything else that I see uh, from Google Earth. But I don't know where these are. You can guess approximately on Google Earth, but I want to be very close to these topography maps. So how I do that is I'm going to do a screen capture. So just use a um, window snipping tool. Uh, with the window snipping tool, just snip out uh, this area of the map. And then we'll save it. And we'll call it capture. I already had one in there. Okay, so once you've done that, let's go to, let's go to Google Earth. And this is the same lake on Google Earth here. So let's go to that uh, northwest corner again. And what we're going to do is import that image that we just captured. So that's, that's this tool right here. It's called the Image uh, Overlay. So you do that and um, go into that same folder that you saved it and drop in the capture. The problem with the capture is it just puts a picture on top of Google Earth. Uh, you can't see anything underneath. But uh, with this slider bar here, so make it so you can see both. And then you can resize it, grabbing the edges and resize it. Let's zoom in here to try to get close. So you just got to grab each of the edges like this until you can get a uh, overlay that's very close. The accuracy is going to rely on how good a job you do. So you can spend a, a lot more time on this, but l let's say that's a that's, uh, pretty close for now. Uh, you can see that uh, the overlay is pretty close. It's not exact, uh, but close. Now that you have it overlaid, uh, you can go in here and drop waypoints. So let's go in here and say, okay, I want to drop some waypoints in here so that uh, my boat can just go to it. Let's call this uh, top water in the morning. Let's drop another waypoint for uh, in here in the intake area and in the the ledge there let's call this uh, intake ledge and in addition to these waypoints you can also drop in paths that would be good for you to have just so you can follow or if you have a GPS enabled um, trolling motor you can just program it to follow that path so that you can just click go and start fishing instead of worrying about controlling your trolling motor. So how you would do that is you go to the path tool here, click add path, and you can just click uh, lines and it will just start connecting them. Or if you held down your mouse, you can just go around and, uh, and just create your own path. And I'm just making one up here. Let's say you just wanted to follow that around. Uh, so let's name this uh, Topwater path. You can make minor adjustments on any of these points. You can do that. Make this come out farther. Make this come uh, over here. So now you have a path that you've designed uh, you want. That image overlay, you can always access it again by right clicking the name up there, the properties, and you can make that opaque again um, or uh, make it more transparent. Let's say in Google Earth, as you slide through time, now this is a constant water, so you're not going to see much. But let's say in 05, you see there's some structure underneath there you want to uh, document. And you can do that with a path, or you can do a polygon, which will color in the whole thing. This is the polygon tool. So let's say you just wanted to highlight that, uh, whatever that is. That may be uh, just a bunch of weeds, but let's say that was an oyster bed or an oyster shell. And you just want to just highlight that area like that. It's called shell bed, just for a demonstration. So that's going to show up there. Um, that you never saw on Navionics didn't show any of that. So by putting that in, when you see it in Google Earth, 
uh, you'll you'll know on your fish finder when you get there that there's some structure underneath that you sh you want to be concerned about that you're interested in. So this concludes part one of the video where I showed you uh, with the Navionics app you can get the topography maps imported into Google, drop waypoints, drop paths, and drop structure. The next part of the video shows you how to convert that into a format that you can import into your fish finder on the boat.